Open the file 3dmodel1.sta from your exercise folder. We're going to talk about working planes. You might be surprised that we want to talk about working planes and deal with something kind of complex right at the very beginning. Well the answer is that working planes are really important. They're fundamental to really quick 3D modeling. We also have a technique later on where we're going to use automatic working planes. But in order to use automatic working planes, I think you need to understand how a working plane is designed and how it works. Let's go to our 3D modeling tool set and we're going to look for the tool set working plane. Click on that tool and then we can come across and you'll notice this is my working plane icon. It's quite a big pinky magenta thing. When I move near an object, you notice the side of the object's changed blue. I can also locate the center of that, click once. I've now assigned my working plane to that side of the object. It would be really good if I could save this. So if I right click away from everything, working plane, save the working plane. This allows us to save this working plane and come back to it again and again. We'll call it left. The active working plane is shown on your view bar just here. We've got layer plane, that's the ground, and we've got left. If I go back to my selection tool, I'll be able to change my working plane. Let's go to layer plane, so it's now drawing on the ground. Anything I draw now will draw on that ground. If I change this to left, anything I draw now will be on the side of that object. Let's go back to setting our working plane. So we've got our set working plane tool, we can click there and that set the working plane on the face. Right click, working plane. I can save that working plane and I can call that top. So I could create a whole lot of working planes and I could save them all and if I ever needed to reuse them, I could find them here. I also have a palette for working planes. Window, palettes and working planes. And that's my working plane palette. So if I wanted to draw a rectangle, I could double click on left and it would set my left working plane. Double click on top and it would set my top working plane. Now we do have another technique called automatic working plane. That's this one here. And we'll use this one later when we come to draw our bracket because it will highlight an area and I will be able to draw directly on that working plane of the highlighted object and it becomes really quick. 